Who was responsible for Lefty Sesame's death and why did they do it? Before continuing to view more video, remember to sign up for our channel's newsletter. The community is in disbelief following the tragic death of Mexican rapper Lefty SM. On the evening of Saturday, September 2nd, a well-known Mexican rapper named Juan Carlos Saucita, better known by his stage name Lefty SM, was fatally in his own home in Zapopan, Jalisco. This tragic turn of events occurred in the middle of the night. There is still a lack of clarity regarding the circumstances surrounding the crime leaving law enforcement and the general public with more questions than answers. Is it possible that this was an attempted kidnapping that went awry, or did the people who attacked the rapper have the only aim of Since the tragedy took place, the authorities have been working hard to put together the pieces of the puzzle that are the sequence of events that took place on that terrible night. There has been some headway made in the preliminary investigations, but it is not yet possible to draw any firm conclusions from them. Isa Mary, Lefty Tessan's wife, was the only one there at the scene of the crime, and she miraculously escaped unharmed. Her recounting of the events has been essential in dissecting the murky circumstances that surrounded the homicide and shining light on them. Initial indications indicate that the event took place at approximately 10.50 p.m., when three persons were able to get past the security measures that were in place in the neighborhood in order to enter Lefty Tessan's home. They proceeded to open fire upon entering, ultimately resulting in the death of the artist, who was 31 years old. Lefty SM was shot in the abdomen and the right leg, both of which required medical attention. His wife made a frantic effort to save him by rushing him to the closest hospital as soon as possible, but unfortunately, he was pronounced dead as soon as he arrived at the facility. The perpetrators, the identity of which are still a mystery, drove away from the site in a car that did not have any license plates, leaving behind very little evidence. At first, investigators suspected that the incident was a failed attempt at a robbery. Eza Mary, on the other hand, turned to social media in order to counter these statements. She stated that the crooks forced their way into their home and deliberately targeted lefties SM. She fiercely rejected any involvement in illicit activities and stressed her husband's passion to both his music and his family in her statement. At this time, the police believe that the crime was committed with the intention of killing the victim, but the attempt failed. It is thought that the three assailants intended to forcibly remove Lefty SM from his home and transport him to their car, but he fought, which led to his tragic demise. Lefty SM's death was a tragedy that could have been prevented. Nevertheless, these are just speculations at this point, and there is a clear need for more research if we are ever going to know the whole truth. Juan Carlos Saucita, better known by his stage name Lefty SM, was a rising sensation on the Mexican music scene. At the age of 31, he had already worked with notable artists such as Santa Fe Clan, MC Dao, and C. Can. He had also cooperated with other artists. His songs, such as Poor Me Mexico and Soy Mercenario, had helped him amass a significant fan base. Lefty SM's ascent to the top of his field was a demonstration of both his tenacity and his ability. The passing of Lefty SM has triggered a chain reaction of disbelief throughout the Mexican music community. His friends, co-workers, and fans have all offered their sympathies to his family as they struggle to make sense of the terrible act of violence that was committed against them. As the inquiry continues, many people are keeping their fingers crossed that justice will be done and that the truth will win out in the process of determining who was the mastermind behind this horrific occurrence. Lefty SM's wife, Isa Mary, and their children, Kizi and Chera, are the only members of his family to survive him. During this trying period, the family will receive the essential help from the authorities to protect their safety and wellness.